G'day everybody, and welcome back to our playthrough of Valheim. The previous episode, we found Moder's spawning point, but we were totally unprepared for the fact that we actually need three eggs to try and spawn. Uh, I think it's a her, uh, based on uh, what I've been reading. Uh, in the comments section. A lot of you guys are saying it's a her, so well, uh, whatever the case may be, uh, doesn't uh, change the fact that we will need another egg. So I'm thinking maybe uh, the quickest way to do that is to go back to the mountains near our home uh, and we can try and find an egg there. However, uh, I am also sort of curious to sort of explore this continent here. So, I don't know guys, maybe since we're already here, maybe we should just explore the continent first. If we find another mountain, uh, that's going to be the best because, uh, you know, it means that we'll be able to, you know, just source the, uh, the egg from this continent but uh, yeah I'm just putting a few things away here and there because I just don't want to spend uh, our cooked serpent meats on just exploring uh, so I figure maybe chucking all of that back it's probably not a bad idea We'll carry the mushrooms, I think that's fine. Mushrooms don't really weigh too much. Uh, and yeah, so... Of course, we have the portal with us, and... Uh, maybe it might not be a bad idea to just bring it with us for now. Oh god, yep, I, I keep forgetting that I should be breaking down the portal first. There we go. Alright, we've got everything we need for the portal. Let's do a little bit of exploring around here. If we don't find another mountain on this continent, then, of course, uh, the next best thing is to just go back home and uh, see if we can get... Oh my god, look at this. This is a massive village. This is the biggest one that I've seen so far. Wow, okay. I mean... If you wanted to, you know, like set up some kind of a, a village or a viking village, you could essentially just do it here, right? Like, make use of all of the, the old buildings. Okay, uh, these draugars seem to be taking some kind of special damage from our silver sword. Perhaps maybe it's because they're... Are they considered to be undead? I think so. As uh, undead enemies don't really like silver, right? So, and uh, there's the frost effect uh, when we use Frostner. And yeah, this is the first time we're actually using Frostner as well, so uh, it's sort of interesting to see. Um, it's a good opportunity for us to maybe grab some more settling cores. Burial chambers. Yeah. Haven't been in one of these things in a very long time. So let's check it out. Uh, got more treasures. Uh, actually, these mushrooms... I might let go of, guys, because I haven't really seen a need for these mushrooms recently. Of course, I'll say that now, and then, you know, soon after, we're going to learn something that's going to require heaps of them, and I'm going to regret all of this. <laughs> I've seen some advice that people give, and people say, oh, just 
pick up everything, you know? And I'm like, well, if I did that, we wouldn't really be getting very far, would we? I'd be spending too much time just picking stuff up all the time and then going back, storing it, and then coming back again. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure if that would make for the best uh, videos. So that's, that's the reason behind me not picking absolutely everything up. Uh, so far, no settling cores. Uh, hasn't been the best. So, in terms of straight up blunt damage, uh, we're not really doing as much as when we had uh, the mace. But I think it's still doing enough damage for us to you know, be able to take down these skellies pretty quickly, so... And I think if we upgrade... Uh, oh god. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, if we upgrade the Frostner, uh, I think we'll... be able to get it to a point where it might be able to one-shot some of these skellies. That's what we're looking for. So we've got Amber Pearls here. Uh, just trying to think of what is something that I can let go of. I sort of need the Grey Dwarf Eyes, though. Feathers. I sort of need feathers as well, but you know what? Feathers we can always get from birds, so... I'm not going to stress too much. Okay. Good stuff. Uh, or, actually, I think maybe the, the raw uh, wolf meat is probably something that we can get rid of, because there's plenty of that. Got stacks of it at home. Alright, so we got a few additional settling cores. That's the purpose of that. Um, our inventory is not looking so good though, so I'm thinking maybe we just head back to the longboat for a second here and just drop off as much as we can. There must be some treasures sitting around somewhere in some of these uh, structures as well, but you know, I'm not gonna bother too much. So I think my goal with this expedition is, uh, well, twofold. One is seeing if we can find another mountain in the area, in the vicinity. Uh, and, well, secondly is to uh, see if we can just run through the swamp that's nearby, because we know there is a swamp. And uh, we'll try and fight draugers and stuff, just so that we can get some more entrails. We're really low on entrails at home, so uh, would like to have some more. Uh, no space for amber, apparently. Cash. Uh, we could probably get rid of that. Amber and pearls. Uh, suppose we can bring these and then maybe we can bring some more of the cooked wolf meat with us. Yeah, okay. That looks all right. Um, we want to be traveling at night. Well, that's okay. I think maybe traveling at night and going to the swamp at night is not such a bad idea. I don't mind fighting those wraiths as well. Don't have a lot of chains, so that'd be a good way to get them. Okay, got some draugers in here as well. Okay, it's it's really weird. I'm I was not expecting to find some draugers here. What's the story behind that, guys? I mean, uh, I thought draugers are supposed to be, you know, uh, located in swamps only. But I mean, I've seen draugers 
in uh, the mountains that one time when we found the vague vizier we found them in the mountains uh, I suspect that perhaps maybe uh, you know Vikings that don't survive the tenth circle become draugers or something like that and that's why you see them sort of in important like residences or important structures not all structures, obviously. Okay, we've got a troll here as well. Not expecting that. Oh my god, that's a two-star troll. Um, I'm not going to challenge the two-star troll, to be honest. Plus, I don't really want to be carrying all of the the stuff that the troll drops, you know. Yeah, it's quite busy here. <laughs> A lot of stuff going on. Uh, do we want blueberries? Might not be a bad idea, because we have been using the blueberries for making stews and stuff. Just bring some with us. Uh, problem is, we don't exactly have much storage left uh, on the longboat. Although, I can set up a uh, portal and just drop things off at home directly. Let's just take a look here. So, yeah, maybe I want to go in this direction. That'll get us, I think, to the swamp. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not taking us to the swamp. Maybe the swamp is towards this side. I could go for more settlings if I wanted to, but maybe I'm not going to stress too much about that for now. Okay, so more swamps. Um, ooh, that's a little sliver of plains there, I feel. Uh, just want to stay clear of that. Um, definitely don't need to fight anything from the plains right this moment. I'm not sure how long the night is still going to last. I don't really see any raids or anything like that in the air. Um, but yeah, anyway. So... Let's actually enter... The uh, swamps, and then... I'm just gonna see. Maybe we'll cut across... And uh, I think the whole idea is that we want to get to the other side of the mountain that we've already explored. And yeah, only two things that I'm really interested in fighting while we're here. Uh, Draugr's and raids. Anything else I'm sort of just going to ignore. Um, haven't exactly seen a lot of enemies though. Uh, 
Plenty of these skeletons. You know, one thing that I haven't exactly prepared for uh, swamps is poison resist potions. We've got, you know, a, a decent amount of health now, so maybe it doesn't really matter. But I suppose if you don't use poison resist, you could, you know, be at risk of not regenerating your health fast enough as well. So I guess if you're going to have a really big fight here, might pay to be a little bit more prepared. Oh God. There we go. Yeah, and the silver definitely works wonders against Wraiths as well, which is nice. Got three minutes on a lot of our foods there, so just keeping an eye out on that. Got a sunken crypt here in case we needed some more iron. Uh, I don't exactly have a key with me though, but that's all right. We don't really need it right this moment. Very big swamp as well, this one, so... And, uh, it's actually quite good because... This continent's not too far away from our home. So it could be a, a... Potentially a good place to get some more iron and stuff. Don't mind me, boys. Okay, end of the line here. Uh, I think we go maybe this way. Yeah, it's not looking good because my initial thought was perhaps maybe the continent might be a little bit bigger, but it seems like it's cutting off. How many entrails did we get? Only eight. Okay. That's a bit of a disappointment. I guess eight entrails is better than none. Okay. Uh, so... I'm thinking, guys, that... I think we're not going to find another mountain on this continent. Uh, I think the way the continent's going to pan out is that maybe it'll be a little bit bigger towards this side, but we know that there's some plains around here and I definitely don't want to cross over into plains. So I'm headed back to the longboat and we're going to go home. We're going to climb the mountain near our home uh, and then we'll try and find an egg. That's the uh, the current plan. It's one star boar there. 
Yeah, still haven't seen the two star boars anywhere, but maybe once we get into the plains. I don't really know if boars hang out in plains at all, actually, so... Then there are those, like, very, very large, um, beasts that we've seen, uh, when we were on the longboat. Uh, we've seen large, uh... I guess, yak-looking beasts. And it's the same beast that Haldor has uh, hanging around his camp. I'm not entirely sure how tough they are. Don't need that. Uh, I can carry everything else, I think. Yeah, so just gonna go through the swamp once more, and uh, we'll see if we can fight a few more Draugrs, if we find them anyway. And there's also uh, that Draugr spawner, which is, you know, right next, uh, sorry, right inside one of the buildings uh, in that village that we just came across. So if we really, really wanted to, we could farm over there, but yeah, I'm not gonna worry about farming for now. One star boars galore. There seems to be a lot more skellies in this particular swamp compared to others, uh, and less draugrs in this one. I don't even know if we would ever find treasures in structures uh, in the swamp. So far, my experience has told me that uh, there's nothing to be found in any of these structures, but you never know. Yeah, okay, it just looks like a residence. I don't know why you would want to live right within a swamp, but anyway. Uh, okay, we've got the plains over that side, so let's just remember that we don't want to go there. So, let's just climb up. Ooh, got a collection of mushrooms here. Take it all. Oh wow, okay, our silver sword is doing a lot of damage to skeletons. Ow. Yeah, okay, well, I guess maybe it's because skeletons do count as being undead, right? So, just taking a look at this, and I wonder how big these planes might be. Anyway, uh, I digress, let's head back to the longboat.
Uh, I forget where that village is. Must be here somewhere. But I have a feeling that the village was set up in, like, a meadows biome. Oh, almost missed these. Yeah, I'm uh, not entirely sure where that village is now. In hindsight, I should have marked where the village was. Uh, but I guess if we keep a mental note, I, I think I think it could be there, actually. If we keep a mental note of where it is, um, and if we ever feel like we want to, you know, set up another base, but maybe have like, you know, smaller structures. Uh, rather than, you know, one main castle structure. That might be cool. Uh, also, there's the, the matter of uh, the spawner here as well for Draugr's. Uh, just say that. Okay, good. Yeah, there's quite a few of these Draugrs, aren't there? And another spawner here as well. Okay. Uh, interesting. We've got like stones set up within the structure itself. I'm not entirely sure what that would be. Okay, well I think we've got enough entrails really, I mean, uh, how does it work? I think there's only a need for like one entrail and one boar meat I think to convert into sausages. I can't remember now, but for the time being I think we've got enough. Righto. So we've made it back. Just need to sail back and uh, once we get home we'll just store all of our stuff first and then we'll set back out to the mountains. So let's do it. Yeah, okay. I think we're horribly beached here.
Okay. Don't seem to be moving at all. Um, I'm just gonna see if... Ah, that's the reason why. Alright. That might help. Okay, so... Heading straight north. I really do hope uh, this thing's gonna hold up. Because uh, last time we did a little bit of sailing we had that problem where the uh, Longboat was destroyed three quarters of the way uh, to our destination, so it was a little bit scary. And get rid of that. Okay, so we've definitely seen some uh, eggs in the mountains that are not so far away from the base. Uh, I just can't recall where they might be, but I'm sure by doing a little bit of exploration in the area we should be able to find one relatively quickly, I would like to think. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just try and throw away some of this stuff. Um, maybe that. I don't need the bones. All right, home sweet home. Maybe we want to move it to the front entrance. Okay. 
Okay, looks good. Okay, so, uh, let's maybe let go of a lot of our stuff here. Okay, we've got plenty of entrails, actually. Right, so... Chains. I'm not entirely sure where we're keeping chains, but... I'm sure we'll find a spot for it. There you go. Alright. Um, and there's also the stuff in the boat, which I think we can transfer over uh, into storage. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, except for maybe the food, because... Definitely still need the food later on. Okay, looking good. Okay, I think everything else we sort of still need, um, might take a look at our food situation here, so, got sausages, uh, I can bring some more, got plenty of ice creams, um, maybe I'll actually use some of the wolf meats here, uh, skewers uh, I think maybe we'll make some more ice creams Okay, so let's drop that in there. Uh, ice creams will do something like that. Drop that there as well. Yeah, looks good.
Alright, I'm gonna have a sleep, I think. Um, let's see if we can get rid of a few resins here. Why not? Okay, so, off to the mountains. Uh, I should actually watch our uh, weight and make sure that we've got enough to actually carry one egg. Uh, one, nine, two, okay. Something's weighing us down. Uh, I think I do need Grey Dwarf eyes though, don't I? Uh, to make a teleporter. Actually, am I going to need a teleporter? Well, that's a very good question because... Um, I think if I bring the egg, I'm not really going to be able to, you know, uh, teleport, so... Let's drop that there, and... I think that's probably a good thing to do. Just make sure that we've got enough space. Right, so let's head up there. Um, I could have repaired all of our gear, but that's okay. I'm hopefully not going to be fighting too much while we're up there. Just trying to remember where we may have found uh, eggs in the past. I think maybe what we could do is we could employ the same strategy as what we did uh, when we were uh, at the mountain where the motor spawn point was. So we go to the highest point up there and we'll see if we can... Try to just spot like purple gro uh, glows. I just need to be careful though because the last time we did that it wasn't now. Oh, okay, here we, <laughs> here we go. We didn't really have to do anything so complex. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> job's done. <laughs> uh, time to go back. Okay, so, uh, is there anything else we need to do before we go? I guess maybe just doing a little bit of repairing, uh, and I think that should do it. Okay, time to sail back. Actually, one second, guys. Uh, I did say the other day that, you know, uh, I was sort of curious as to where we had kept uh, our fishing rod and uh, I'm now a little bit worried as to whether or not I've lost it somehow. Maybe it's sitting in the old house as well. 
And we've got all the baits and stuff here. Oh yes, the egg. Drop that there for a second. All right. Oh yes, and uh, we've got the farm to deal with as well. Uh, haven't really done the farming for a while. Although we don't have the cultivator with us, so um, I'm not entirely sure if I should be doing that right now. Um, nothing over there. Little withered bones, which we don't really need. Trophies. There it is. Oh, bloody hell. Alright, let's grab all of that. Uh, and do I want any of this other stuff? I mean... I could bring some of this stuff with us and just drop it at our new home. So guys, that was just a, a side distraction because uh, I was getting a little bit worried and I feel like we should really be keeping the fishing rod with us uh, while we're sailing. Though it will take uh, a bit of space, won't it? Uh, I reckon we can put the potions and stuff like that in the, uh, in the pantry. So, common fishing bait. Mossy, hot, frosty, sticky. Yeah, I have no idea what's what and how to use some of these baits uh, I'm guessing it depends on which biome you might be in but uh, and this normal fishing bait is probably just for uh, the meadows so just do something like that and we'll carry some fishing bait with us and uh, the fishing rod with us as well. Okay, time to make our way back. Now hopefully, this time, we'll be able to spawn motor and see what it's all about. And see how underprepared we might be. Random necks swimming out here in the ocean. Yeah, all sorts of interesting looking fish. I guess maybe you might be able to get like really good at telling uh, which type of fish uh, is in the water and then you would maybe change your bait accordingly. Again, just guessing here. All right, so I'm having a think here of uh, whether or not I should just sail to the same area as before, or do we want to head 
somewhere else, but I don't really think that there is another place that we can land uh, which is safe. I mean, you could land next to the swamp if you wanted to, but I don't think that's such a good idea. You may as well just land the same spot. Uh, in terms of setting up the portal though, uh, I'm just trying to think whether or not it's wise to set up a portal uh, on the actual mountain or, you know, just before we get to the mountain. Maybe I'll set up a portal over here. Yep, I think this is exactly where we were before. We're even beached at the same spot, exactly. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll just push this a little bit more. There we go. Alright. So, uh... Well, I suppose I shouldn't waste a, uh... a workbench right now. I could set up a workbench later. Uh, let's make sure we don't lose the longboat though, so let's just do that. And I think it's time for us to set up this uh, portal. I'm hoping to try and find another structure somewhere around here. Somewhere a little bit closer to the mountain. I know there are structures here, but uh, these are not exactly close, so... Uh, hang on a second, guys. I just realized that... Uh, if we are going to be fighting motor... I want our... Improved foods. Now we're ready.
Okay, well, this is the only structure available uh, close by to the... Um... Oh, what is what is this thing? Okay, there's a, actually a chest up there. I didn't realize that. Okay, it's got only, like, basic stuff in there. Right, um... And we're getting very close to meadows around that side, so... Let's not get too close. Um... Yeah, I think this is gonna be our way up. So, let's... Just, um... Set up our portal here. And, yeah, it's not really going to have any protection or anything like that. It's just going to be standard portal. Okay, yes. Forgot about the Grey Dwarf eyes. Uh, so... Gonna need to hunt some Grey Dwarfs. Damn it. Alright. Totally missed the Grey Dwarf eyes. I've been, um... Just storing stuff. Left, right, and center. Yeah, okay, should be pretty easy to find the workbench, so... Now, Raid Wars. Bloody hell. Where are you when we need you? My lord. Okay. Where are these Grey Dwarves at? Um, I might cut down a few trees as uh, Grey Dwarves like to come out when we start cutting down some trees. Again, that's just a theory of mine. There we go, there's one. And not even a single eye. Goodness me. Alright. <laughs> um, let's go this way. Surely... Surely there've got to be some uh, Grey Dwarves around here that we can kill. Oh my god.
Okay, we're in Black Forest territory, so I assume we should find some Grey Dwarves here. Skellies, no. Oh yes, and there's the troll from before. Not exactly interested in facing off against a troll. Here we go. Just a few more. Okay, uh, I did not want to attract the troll, but here we are. Oh my god, alright, I did not have my sword equipped. I can barely see here as well. There's just so many trees. Okay, all right, now that we're out in the meadows, hopefully we'll be able to fight these guys a little bit easier. And I'm getting the feeling that I'm gonna have to do something about this troll. Okay, I haven't fought a troll in a very long time. Uh, and this one's a two star. I'm not sure if we've faced off against the true star troll before. Raid Dwarf Shaman's not helping.
Ow. Okay, that was not great. How are we doing here? Okay, right, we've got a weight problem as well. Of course, of course, of course. Come on. Ow. Oh my lord. All right. <laughs> let's uh let's organize ourselves here. All right. So why do I have poison resist? I forgot to put it away. That's why. And this is probably weighing us down a little bit. Goodness me. All right. Give me them gray dwarf eyes, please. Okay, where are we? Uh, we need to head that way. I mean, there's so much stuff here, though. Uh, and there's probably a lot of cash. Cash, I won't mind taking. Where is that cash? Give me the cash. There we go. Alright. Okay. It weighs too much. All right, good times, good times. Let's head to our workbench and let's quickly set up this portal. And uh, judging by the time though, guys, I don't think we'll be able to go see Motor in this episode, but uh, I reckon we'll probably go and spawn Motor first thing in the next episode. Let's just do something like that. And uh, I'm just thinking here. Do we want to teleport back and just put stuff away? Might not be a bad idea. Ah, oh, no. Damn it. Uh, guys. <laughs> I've totally forgotten to, uh, change the name of the portal back at home. So, that's a problem. But a problem for the next episode, I think. Uh, I might even do stuff off camera, guys, uh, just to uh, fix up some of my mistakes here. Uh, and maybe when we come back, I would have already sailed back and uh, fixed up the portal name, just so that we can connect things a little bit quicker uh, when we start the next episode. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, when we get back, we'll definitely check out Motor and see whether or not we're prepared or if we need to retreat. So, uh, yes, <laughs> exciting times. All right, uh, leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below, guys. Uh, stay true. I'll see you guys in the next one.